All right, so what's up, Jimmy Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and today we will be playing the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince from Nippon Ichi Software. So this is a platformer game. It was released um, February 12th this year um it was localized it was originally released last year for the playstation vita but this year it was localized and made available for the playstation 4 and for the nintendo switch so i got a copy of the ps4 version i actually finished this game a couple of uh, hours ago and i want to share this game with you guys i'm gonna do a review of this as well but anyway let's go and start a new game so this is a pretty um pretty beautiful <laughs> pretty interesting game um and I loved the story of it. I love the gameplay. I love the mechanics of it. So this is a tiny tale of love in a faraway land. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom surrounded by a deep, dark forest. The forest was a frightening place filled with beasts and ruled by a powerful witch. Even during the day, the forest could be as dark as the winter night because of this, humans rarely ventured inside. As terrible as the forest was, a beautiful singing voice would always pierce the darkness when the moon shone. The voice belonged to a large woman. She would proudly sing toward the moon high atop a cliff every night. The wolf singing drew in, drew in an unforeseen admirer, a human prince from the kingdom surrounded by the forest. Every night the prince would venture into the scary forest just to hear the beautiful song. One night when the wolf finished singing, the prince applauded. The voice identity was hidden because of the cliff, but this only piqued the prince's curiosity. The wolf glanced at the prince. Wolves are man-eaters, after all. What stupid prey, she thought. I should eat him now that I am finished singing. <laughs> However, the prince had innocently applauded the wolf, who had never before been praised for her singing. She hesitated at first, but for some reason she soon grew fond of it and didn't feel like eating him. Lucky for the prince. <laughs> for several more nights, the wolf sang her song, always looking forward to the prince's applause. But, the wolf thought, if he finds out that I'm a monster, he'll get scared if he won't come listen to me sing anymore. So every night after her song, the wolf would hear the prince's applause and retreat into the deep, dark forest. These nights continued even as the seasons changed. On a night like any other, the wolf sang her song toward the moon. It was the same quiet evening for her. However, tonight was a special night for the prince. He entered the forest filled with determination. He wanted to see the identity of the singing voice with his own two eyes. The prince climbed the cliff, his heart full. The wolf didn't notice anything unusual at first, but when she was done singing, she didn't hear the applause that always came afterwards. She pondered and wondered and glanced down below. What? What? Why was the prince coming so close to her? That escalated quickly. Also, morbidly. He'll hate me if he sees me, the wolf panicked. No one should see what I really look like. She extended a large paw to cover the prince's eyes. But instead, her claws accidentally tore at the prince's eyes. Ouch. The wounded prince leapt from the cliff, the starred wolf thought. If a human falls from this height and hurriedly seized the prince's arm. I really love, you know, the drawing that they have, the artisticry of this game. At the same time, the terrified prince felt the same beastly presence on his arm as the one that had just scratched out his eyes, which increased his dread tenfold, understandably so, I believe. 
The prince screamed and struggled, desperate to escape the wolf's clutches. The wolf, alarmed by his yells, accidentally let his arm slip through her grasp. The prince plummeted down the cliff, but then thump, he landed safely on some bushes. Lucky for the prince. Though he was not harmed from the fall, the wolf's claws had injured his eyes. A nearby soldier, soldier from the kingdom rushed over to the prince. The soldier had heard his screams and had come to see the commotion. The prince must have been hurt by a monster up above. The soldier quickly fired some arrows. The wolf was concerned about the prince, but after being barraged by arrows, she was forced to escape into the forest. The wounded prince began to gradually lose consciousness. The terrible memory of claws in his eyes and the beast's grip on his arms became engraved in his mind. Understandably so. That is very... That's such a traumatic experience, you know? I'd be surprised if it didn't get engraved into his memory. Several nights later... The prince, now blind, has brought disappointment and shame to the royal family and his parents locked him away in the castle tower. Ouch! That's harsh. The wolf was concerned about the prince and overheard some soldiers in the castle say that he had been locked away. That's awful, she thought angrily, and she snuck into the tower to check on him. Now we can finally control... The wolf. So yeah, we're controlling the wolf in this game. Also, I love that this looks like a storybook. I love how it looks like, I love how it plays, I love the story, I love the music, I love basically everything about this game, except um, whenever I end up dying, which was a lot during the first time I played this, because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And I hope that, you know, as I'm recording this in this second playthrough, that I would be able to do better, <laughs> basically. Also, the good thing about this game, the great thing about this, this game is that it doesn't have that long a loading screen. Like, it does have loading screens and they're plentiful, but they do not last that long. The wolf came across a cold room and saw the distressed prince sitting inside. The prince sent someone nearby and raised his face. A large cloth was wrapped around his eyes as if to hide something shameful and dirty. Nice parenting, king and queen. Prince, the wolf said uncertainly. That voice, the singer in the forest, the prince said. He can recognize me by my voice, the wolf thought. Um, yeah, that's right, the wolf responded. I was attacked by a monster in the forest, the prince said, but I'm glad that you're all right. The prince smiled a beat, a beat, a bit with relief. The wolf felt her chest ache when she looked at his ragged figure. Literally, he's wearing rags, guys. Thank you for coming, but how did you know I was here? The wolf didn't know how to respond to that question. I'm a princess from a nearby kingdom, the wolf lied. Remembering that the prince couldn't see her, I said I wanted to visit the old prince, and they let me in. Nice. Quick thinking on the lying. <laughs> anyway, forget that. I can't believe that you're trapped in here. But I, I was attacked by a vicious monster, and my face is awful. My vision is gone. I can't wander outside. I'm forbidden from showing my face in public ever again, the prince said, his head hanging sadly. Let's ask the witch of the forest to heal your eyes. The prince looked dumbfounded upon hearing her idea. Who wouldn't be? The witch? You mean the witch in the forest? Like the one from the storybook? Storybook? I'm not sure, but the witch was... Witch can grant all wishes. She can fix you. The witch lives deep inside the forest. I could take you there. The wolf was excited at the prospect, but the prince's head continued hanging. It'd be hard to take me deep in the forest, and the monsters that rendered me blind... The monster that rendered me blind, I can still feel its claws on me. The prince couldn't continue, his shoulders trembling. The wolf dropped her gaze after hearing his words. She looked at her paws. All she saw were sharp claws that were made for hurting others. Because she's a wolf, obviously, that's all she can see. 
I want to take the prince from here, the wolf thought, but I can't hold his hands with this monstrous boss. Determined, she clasped her, her paws quietly and stepped closer to the prince. <laughs> I'll take you to the forest to see the witch. The prince slowly raised his head to the wolf's voice, but just wait here a little bit. Wait, 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 wait here a bit. Where did I get the little part? I'll be back shortly. She then fled the castle tower and ran into the forest. So yeah, um, since this is a story-driven and narrative-driven game, uh, the cutscenes are long. But the good thing about this is that the narrator, the Japanese voice that's narrating the story, she's doing a great job. And also the music, as you guys can hear, is also fantastic. So I got no complaints about the length of some of the cutscenes, even though I'm just itching to play. So she ran all night through the forest. The sun was rising just as she arrived at the witch's house. The witch of the forest turned her gaze into the sudden visitor. Oh, what a rare customer! A man-eating wolf, coming all the way here. What's this about? I wish to become human. There's someone I want you to see. The witch let out a hearty laugh. Sly wolves rarely said such things. A man-eating wolf become a human? How amusing! But why on earth? Never mind, no need to divulge the details. I believe I already know why. The wolf growled at the witch's mockery. Just read that w with just one intake of breath. The witch pondered the wolf, prodded the wolf's nose, the latter looking ready to bite at any time. But of course I shall grant your wish. Hmm, but you do know what I need, yes? Strange glowing spears appear out of nowhere. The witch pulled one from her, one to her side, admiring it. Beautiful. Each one differs from the others. All unique gems. The spears vivid will post in the witch's palm. The witch was a collector with a rare crude temperament. In return for granting wishes, she took the requester's most cherished possession and turned them into crystals. Sounds familiar, right? The most beautiful hearts are the ones willing to lose what's important to them in order to get what I, I can't do the witch's voice anymore. I can't remember how I even did it the first time. So what will your heart reveal to me? The witch peered into the wolf's eyes as if to discern suitable payment. Hmm, yes. How about your singing voice as compensation? My singing voice, the wolf knew that the witch had a wicked streak, and she knew she had to sacrifice the most important thing to her. Still, her heart trembled, doubtful. Her beautiful singing voice that the prince praised or the chance to hold his hand. Decisions, decisions, how will she decide? Okay, I'll give my singing voice in exchange. The mouth of the witch's mask curled up as if giving an evil grin. Excellent! Payment accepted! Cha-ching! Cha-ching! I didn't expect to get this from one so prideful, but I suppose life is full of surprises. Well, I'm a good. Well, I'm in a good mood, so I'll give you a little something extra. The witch's eyes twinkled dubiously. I'll give you whatever form you desire. What do you want? The wolf remembered what she had told the prince. I want to look like a princess. The witch chuckled softly at the wolf's choice. My, my, what a lovely idea. But you're sure of that? You and your human friend will be devoured by monsters before you even get here. The wolf was unnerved and hung her head, ashamed that the witch had seen how futile her plan was. Didn't think about that, didn't you? Hm. Even clever wolves can be dull sometimes. I'll modify the spell so you can return to wolf form at any time. A magical light appeared as she began the ritual. Again, pretty long cutscene, but yeah. I still love the drawings. And the music. The magical light wrapped around the wolf's body. A part of the light gathered near the witch. I've received your singing voice as the toll. <laughs> the witch said with an eerie smile. The light around the wolf suddenly shone bright. 
やがて収まりました。And then faded. But I'm still a wolf. The wolf looks sad and disappointed. It's a complex spell, though, she said. Give your body one night to get used to it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the la witch to laugh like that. Her task complete, the wolf departed the house. However, the witch stopped her in her tracks. Ah, I almost forgot. Beware of the moonlight, yes. If you fall under it, you will immediately turn back into a wolf. Okay, thank you. Soon I'll be. <laughs> okay, so that's a princess. Soon I'll be human and hold the prince's hand. I'm so excited. Full of hope, the wolf eagerly anticipated returning to the castle tower where the prince was waiting. After leaving the witch's house, the wolf made the journey back to the castle tower. She recalled the witch's words about turning into a princess. It had already been one night. The prince was in sight. The wolf focused into transforming into the princess. Just give me a moment. I'm just checking something. Okay. Let's get right back to it. Transform using triangle and approach the, ca the cage as a princess. More cutscenes. <laughs> the princess called out to the prince. Prince, princess, you came back. Thank you, but... Don't worry, I work hard to be able to... I'll, I work hard to be able to get you out, the princess said brightly, trying to ease the prince. Alright, she thought, I have to get him out of the cell. I can destroy the bars as a wolf, but the prince needs to get away from them first. Um, could you step back a little? Oh, okay, despite the prince's confusion at her instruction, he stepped back from the bars. And it's time to attack the cage. Because we hate cages. As the princess loaded her- Now this is the cute part. The old hands. <laughs> I love this game so much. The princess timidly grasped the prince's tiny warm hand. Though he was scared, he quickly grasped hers back. I gave up my singing voice to be human, she thought, feeling joyful. But I'm glad I did. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet, but you know, you know that they're gonna have problems down the line because she's lying about basically everything. Let's go to the Witch of the Forest. Make sure you stay close to me, okay? Okay. So yeah, this is just so cute and adorable. Also, sometimes if you just keep them holding their hands, they will they will swing their hands back and forth. I just sometimes I get that happening sometimes i don't so i'm hoping that we can actually i can actually show you guys that new part they entered the deadly forest to travel to the witch's house and heal the prince and so their journey finally began dot 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 so many dots so yeah we all we also have autosave which is good also there are various um what do you call this uh, achievements in this game, trophies for this game. Um, some of them are easy, some of them are pretty hard and challenging, but you know, you can um, complete them all if you just put your mind into it. Also, I'm, a I'm attempting a pacifist run here where we don't kill any of the enemies because there's a trophy for that. And also, we have collectibles in the form of these leaves and also of the flowers later on. Um, you will, you guys will see that. But yeah, I have already obtained um, the trophy for this. Hold on. I've already obtained the trophy for the pacifist run, but you know, I wanted to show you guys how it is done here. Also, I've already collected everything here here that I can collect but again in this this is a new save file a new file a new game basically so I still don't have all of them in this one so back to collecting collecting them again also jump jump <laughs> so yeah that's a pacifist run basically just jump and just make sure you don't kill any of the enemies even though you know, we can. 
also I'm more focused here on like completing the game and sharing the story of the game with you guys because okay made a mistake with that because again this is a wonderful wonderful game it's a beautiful game oh, I thought there was something there I was mistaken and the story is just fantastic so that's one of the things that I want to share with you guys the story because again this one has the most beautiful story in the platformer that I have ever played oh, okay for two little to reach no Stop. there we go so yeah I wanted to share this game the story of this game to you guys and also um, showcase how this game is played this is, this is very this is a very interesting game for me also let's need the prince here <laughs> I forgot I can't I can't fit there so we have to And here, please. Thank you. So, yeah, this is actually an optional route, but yeah, I want to take it. <laughs> like, I know there's an enemy that's gonna appear. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I need you to come back here, please, so that I can wallop you to death. Because I need to get that pell. Yes! We collected them all. And also, the cool thing about this game is that you can save anywhere. You can select a stage at any time. You can view... well, this is all the cutscenes. I can't you know, show those to you just yet. You can skip a stage, but skipping a stage you actually have to, I think, have 10 minutes in a particular stage in order to skip it. Like, if you found it, find it impossible to complete, that's the only time you will think of skipping a level. But I would suggest against it because you will miss out on a couple of collectibles and I feel that those collectibles are pretty important if you want to get the full grasp of this game. And this game has a lot of backstory in it as well that you can find from collecting stuff. And also, that includes the flowers. They talked to each other during their journey. She mentioned that she enjoyed running around and he confided that he liked reading. I love books about flowers, said the prince. I can't leave the castle that often, so I thought it'd be nice to finally see the flowers in the outside world. While they were talking, there was a rustling sound. A small monster appeared from the bushes and leapt towards the prince. Like a ninja. The prince had barely escaped being bitten by the monster. The princess quickly transformed into the wolf and brunch, 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 brushed the monster away. Like I said, like a ninja. Everything happened so fast and for the prince, he could not see what was going on. He crouched down on the spot, shaking in fear. He couldn't help it. He'd recently had a scary experience in the forest. Again, that's so understandable. Trauma. The wolf panicked. I've got to do something. But she had no idea what to do for the frightened little prince. She desperately glanced around. A beautiful flower field caught her eye. She looked at it and remembered what the prince had said. Of course, I can give him flowers. That's so sweet. That's so sweet of you, wolf princess wolf. Mononoke. I'm gonna call you Mononoke. <laughs> Just because. So yeah. Another cute thing about it is, is again, this is, flowers are collectibles in this game. And once you get a flower, you can't really transform. See? I'm pressing the triangle button, I can't transform. So you gotta go back to the prince and give the flower as the princess. 
And that is just so adorable. So freaking adorable. Prince, this is for you. The princess handed the flower to the prince. Also cute drawing. The flower? It smells so nice. Yeah, you said you love books and about flowers. The prince smiled happily at the prince's words. Thank you. I wonder what kind of flower it is. I can't see it though. Like... Uh, he doesn't know that he's talking to the one responsible for him being blind. But if you're in the receiving end of that, I can just imagine how you would feel hearing that. It's like a guilt trip of some kind. But I'm more excited to see it once my eyes are healed. She was relieved to see him happier. I want to thank you. I know, do you read a lot of books? Wanna hear a story I read one time? The princess didn't expect the prince to be so happy. She felt like she was already becoming closer to him. I'll pick more flowers when I see another flower field, the princess thought, smiling. So yeah, I could just let the Japanese voice actress narrate everything, but that would take a lot of time that we could just use, you know, to get further into the game. Because I am planning to complete for this uh, video the first uh, the first level the first area you know so we got a couple more I think this is a I don't really need to do a pacifist run but whoa whoa I'm just that's just great oh I don't need a pet well I want to do a pacifist run if we can yes I can't decide sue me no don't don't sue me that will be very, very troublesome. <laughs> also, I love the animations of the characters here, how they move and how they react to the environment around them. Cool. And I just killed the characters. Nice. So yeah, they're pretty fragile. They, they end up dying if you jumped off... You know, jumped off a uh, pretty... high tall height also if you get chomped by monsters so i think i did this i managed to do a pacifist run of this but let's see if we can do that again even though it would be just quicker to kill the monster le -le -le -le. <laughs> okay i'm killing that monster i'm done trying to take the peaceful route i'm killing it I'm wasting too much time trying to be a good person. I'm just kidding. Yeah, trying not to kill the monster, it's eating up way too much of the time I could be doing. Yeah. Progressing in this game. But yeah, I I actually thought about live streaming this, but decided against it. I'm still trying to figure out what game I would like to live stream, but if you guys are interested in seeing this as a live stream, um, then just tell me and I will see to it that I do that. Because I am planning to do live streams once a week. I haven't just decided if I'm gonna do it here on this channel, in my YouTube channel, or if I'm gonna do it on Twitch. I or mixer actually. I have three options. I've already um, tried it on Twitch. I already have an account on that. I have followers in that account as well. Um, not as many as my su subs um, here in you know in YouTube, but I do have followers there. So yeah, if you guys have a Twitch account. Follow me as well, <laughs> there. Um, I have the link to my Twitch uh, channel on the description below if you guys are interested. I'm trying also to build that so I can move my, on my live streams there if possible because again, I really would like to do this at least uh, once a week or the live stream I mean, at least once a week or twice a week, depending on my schedule. If my schedule allows more live streaming, then I will probably do more live streaming. But yeah, every living creature in this forest is just 
so cute even though they are considered monsters i have never seen such cute monsters like i wouldn't mind um having a plushie of the these things all right area level clear so we got one more level area place in order to complete this level but you guys get the idea Okay, let's order the prince around. So yeah, here, um, you can actually get a trophy here if you manage to do this and to complete this level in under, uh, how many was it? I think it's 2 minutes and 30 seconds. If you manage to do that, then you will get a trophy or an achievement. But yeah, a trophy, since this really isn't available on... There's a flower here. So I'm not gonna attempt. I've managed to do that before, but I'm not gonna attempt because I want to get the petals. Also, the cool thing about this game is that you will know if you're missing anything. Like, if you're missing a collectible, you can just check, select stage, and see what collectibles you can obtain in a level. So this level has a flower, and dear god. No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> because I forgot there's an enemy there. Okay. There we go. But before I continue on down that path, I'm gonna leave the prince there because... There are stops. Oh, great. Here. <laughs> There we go. See, so yeah, I can't remember where the where the flower is in this level, though. So there's that. The beginning parts of well, not just the beginning parts actually. The entire game isn't really that difficult, um, but it does have what I believe is the most epic boss battle, final boss battle in platform gaming history. And it's just so intense and so much fun that I can't wait to- oh my gosh. Okay, I thought the princess was gonna die because that was pretty high. Yeah, I can't wait to get to that part again. Even though it's kind of challenging if you don't really know what you're supposed to do. I think there's an enemy there. But backtracking. Oh, hello, flower. So <laughs> that's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Waiting for my ride. Ooh. There we go. Second flower of the game obtained. Also, that's the reason why a second playthrough is actually needed or why you should replay the game again is because it will make things much more easier for you if you just complete all of the collectibles in your first go and then come back and play the levels that have the um, trophies because then you don't have to worry about trying to find where everything is in the game and that's another level completed so yeah, that's the end of the first area. I'm just gonna go and complete this cutscene and, you know, let's see what happens. <laughs> they walked for what seemed like an eternity and didn't notice how dark it had gotten. Both of them were exhausted from the dangers of the forest. Just as their bells began to ramble, rumble, not ramble, they found a place they could take a rest. Let's stop here for a bit, said the princess, as she started preparing dinner. Preparing dinner. <laughs> Ta-da! 
The princess took out some meat, her favorite food. Go on, take a bite. She then offered the bloody meat to the prince. I'm sure the prince will like it too, the princess thought, smiling. <gasps> Thank you, the prince put the meat in his mouth, then tilted his head in confusion. Um, this tastes odd. It's fresh rabbit meat. It's yummy, isn't it? The princess said proudly, but... <laughs> Wait, this is raw meat? The prince scoffed and promptly spotted, spat it back out. The princess, who thought he would enjoy it, looked at him with a blank expression on her face. Sorry, we don't eat raw meat at the castle. The I don't think anybody eats raw meat. I mean, raw, you know. Fish meat, I understand. Like, there's sushi, sashimi, there's like that, but... Raw chicken meat? Or raw beef meat or any of those kind kind of meats. I don't think anyone eats those raw. The princess felt bad for the prince. I could be wrong though. If that's part of your dietary regimen, let me know in the comment section below. Oh really? So how do you eat meat? Well, we first cook it over the fire. We get sick if, if it's eaten raw. Truth. The princess froze at the word fire. Oh, you use that she was afraid of it and became tense just from thinking about it i see er i'll go find some food instead and with that the princess managed to avoid further discussion of fire with the prince so yeah that's the end of the first area of the game if i'm not mistaken yes the end of the first area the forest of no entry and i believe this is a good time to end today's video so what do you guys think so far of the liar princess and the blind prince i would like to know uh, share me your thoughts in the comment section below and if you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know as well because i will be doing a lot more of this game i will be playing this game through to the end again because i want to share this game story with you guys so maybe i'll be focusing on this game for the entire week along with other games that I have acquired and that I would have to review. But yeah, this is as far as we'll go for today. Um, expect another video tomorrow about this game and well, that's basically it. So again, thank you all for watching, for joining me in today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, you guys know the drill. Dream on, fly on. Bye bye now. What's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to be a part of the Dreamer Tribe, just hit on that subscribe button. We also have tons of different content here on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Until the next video, dream on, fly on.